what if Goku was born as a Super Saiyan 4? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 9? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everyone, it's me, Goku! Welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where Goku G23 does his by daily what ifs on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super. Previously on What If Goku Was Born As A Super Saiyan 4, we mentioned that Goku has took King Kai's advice as he decided to go and visit planet Earth with Vegeta, Nappa, Raditz and the other Saiyans as they're all curious to see if it's true. Upon entering planet Earth, Goku dealt with King Piccolo since he was trying to rule the universe but he managed to deliver a finishing blow, not killing him but getting to be completely mobilized forever. From there, Bulma gave him the Dragon Balls and she summoned Shenron since she heard about their crisis and Goku wished for all the Saiyans that died on planet Saiyans to be brought back again. Bulma was very intrigued on seeing Goku and other Saiyans since they're aliens for her and she wanted to do a lot of research on them so she asked if she can borrow their blood sample and she began doing a lot of research. They then found out about Goku's power as he is a Saiyan born with so much blood wave which allowed him to transform and look like the way he is. With that, they didn't decide to go and make a blood wave machine both Bulma and her father as she continued to work very hard and Goku invited her to come to planet Saiyan so she could work there. She then made planet Saiyan to be as modified as planet Earth and as you know it, she managed to finally go and create the blood wave machine with the help of her father. Once when they made the blood wave machine, they then went and aimed it at Vegeta as Vegeta managed to go and transform to his golden ape and from there he has got control and transformed to his Super Saiyan 4. The rest of the Saiyans like Nappa, Raditz, Bardock has done the same and they all got control of their power but little did they knew, Beers the Destroyer is coming. What if Goku was born as a Super Saiyan 4? Part 9 Weez, tell me, what the hell is going on? Why am I sensing so much power coming from a far planet? And what is this that I'm sensing that they're still saying is alive? I thought I told Frieza to go and destroy them all. Yeah, about that, my lord. It's a long story. As Weez proceeded to go and tell Beerus everything about what happened with the Saiyans, how they all rebelled against Frieza and that there was one Saiyan that was born really strong and they managed to go to another planet and they made that the new Saiyan planet and with that this new warrior who was born at a very high power level, his name is Kakarot and he managed to go and kill Frieza. And that Kakarot's power continued to grow at a rapid pace and now he is even stronger than before. Upon hearing all that got Beerus to be very shocked as he couldn't believe what he was hearing and that someone was able to kill Frieza. With that Whis then told Beerus that the rest, some of the Saiyans you can say managed to go and transform into the same form that Kakarot was born with which got Beerus to be really curious and said, could that form be Super Saiyan God Whis? Super Saiyan God? No my lord. I don't sense no god key presence from that. Yeah, but I got a prophecy that I'll be fighting with some type of Super Saiyan God. Well, my lord, about that, you first need to go check out what's happening inside Planet Zero. What? Ah, Whis, why are you so boring? No, I want you to take me towards Planet Saiyans. I want to handle these Saiyans myself. But my lord, they need your help. And after all, you are a destroyer. Whis, don't tell me about my job. Well, I'm not trying to tell you nothing, I'm just saying. You've been doing nothing but sleep and pretty much eat. Well then, why'd you become a destroyer? I'm an angel, and not to forget, I'm the one that trained your ass. Now I have to tell you, go check out that planet. How about this? Take me to planet Saiyans, let me go see if they are the Super Saiyan God, and then if I have any energy, I'll go towards that planet. <sighs> You're so arrogant, Lord Beerus. Well, I am your destroyer and it's in the system for you to listen to me, so let's do what I tell you Weez. As Weez did not like Beerus' attitude and with that, he decided to go and take Beerus towards Planet Saiyans. On Planet Saiyans, all the other Saiyans were completely shocked as they couldn't believe that Raditz, Nappa, Vegeta and Bardock managed to go and transform and look like Kakarot. They had the same power as Kakarot but obviously Kakarot is stronger since he had this power much longer than them. But they were very shocked as they couldn't believe it and with that, Bardock looked towards Goku and said, Kakarot, 
I cannot believe it. you're born with this type of power. It's amazing, son. Well, I had no idea myself, but it's thanks to Boma I found out about this. Huh, this Boma, she's really useful. Yes, she is. Well, Kakarot, now that I have a taste of your power, I think it's time for us to have a little rematch. I just want to see where I stand against you. <laughs> you do know that you don't stand a chance against me at all, Vegeta. I have a power beyond that. I know, I know, but my inner Saiyan wants me to try to see where I stand. <laughs> okay, then I'm game. Hey, how about I enter the fight too? I got it. How about me, Nappa, and Vegeta all transform to our, you know, whatever, what form you want to call that? It's called the true Saiyan form. Okay, how about we transform to our true Saiyan form and we fight you? <laughs> Alright, that sounds like a plan. With that, they were about to go and transform, but from there, Goku got an alert from King Kai as he quickly called Goku and said, Hey! Kakarot! Huh? Wait, you're, ki you're King Kai, right? Yes, but listen! There's something bad coming towards you guys! What do you mean? Beer's a destroyer! He has woken from his slumber and he sensed your guy's power! He's making his way towards you guys as we speak! Beer's a destroyer? What? Who is that? Uh, what? No! D did you just say what I think you said? Huh? Do you know something about this? Who is Beer as a destroyer? Oh no! Not him! What's going on? Who is he? He is the strongest person I've ever laid eyes on! If he comes here, we're all dead! You think killing Frieza was enough? No! This guy is the real deal! Father, are you okay? Oh, wait, father! Is it that guy that made you kneel before him? Yes! That spear is a destroyer, no doubt! And... Ah... I see you guys know who I am, Saiyans! Oh, uh, he's here! Huh? So... This is Beer is a destroyer, huh? <laughs> Very well. And yes, Saiyan, I am Beer is a destroyer. I have heard a lot about you, Kakarot. So you know who I am, huh? Of course I do. But tell me one thing. Do you guys know anything about a Super Saiyan God? Super Saiyan God? No. What is that? <sighs> Just what I thought. How about you, Vegeta? Uh, no, my lord. I, I don't. But tell me. Are, are you going to destroy this planet? Wait. Beerus? The destroyer? What are you doing here? Like I said, I heard you guys still exist. I'm shocked that Frieza couldn't kill you guys. <laughs> That's because I killed him. That bastard tried to end all the Saiyan race, but I stopped him. <laughs> he might have tried to end it, but I'm the one that ordered him to do so. What? You told Frieza to destroy us? That is right, Saiyan. I did. What are you going to do about that? <sighs> you bastard! Huh? As Vegeta went, and he transformed into his Super Saiyan 4. With that, Vegeta went and he charged right towards Beerus as he striked him in his face. Beerus went and caught Vegeta's fist and he twisted it and he striked him back and their battle has begun. Vegeta did not like the fact that Beerus was the one who ordered for all his people to be erased and because of that he blames Beerus for him losing his kingship. As he went and he tried to attack Beerus again, but Beerus went and he flicked Vegeta away, getting to be sent flying meters away. With that, Raditz and Nappa went and they transformed into their Super Saiyan 4, while Bardock did the same and from there, he looked towards Beerus and said, I am now the king of this planet. If you're here to destroy it, I'm not gonna let you do so. Ha! I'll have to see what you can do. Try to stop me, Saiyan. With that, Vegeta went and he got up as Bardock, Nappa, Vegeta and Raditz all charge towards Beerus and they start to attack him. Beerus saw that they are all in their Super Saiyan 4 state and they began to hit him with every angle as Beerus went and he powered up his key using just slightly 15% and he began to attack them back until he heard someone went and screamed. <laughs> Go 
Goku has now gone and transformed into his Super Saiyan and said, I'm not gonna let you stay here and destroy my people. I have fought too hard for this planet, and if you wanna kill them, then you'll die here. <laughs> Bring it on, Saiyan. Before Beerus can blink, Goku came right in front of him and he decked him across his face, getting Beerus to be sent flying meters away. Goku then followed as he took Beerus by his back and he kneaded right in his spine and he punched Beerus. Beerus was extremely shocked to see that he has underestimated Goku compared to Vegeta and their other Saiyans. Goku is in a different league as he got up and said, My bad, I have underestimated you Saiyan. Your power is far greater than what I thought. Heh, <laughs> you have no idea. Well then how about I use my full power to make it an even match. Behold. Beerus has now gone and powered up his key to its fullest, as is ready to go and attack Goku and with that their battle has begun, as both of them charge towards one another and their power clash with each other. While Goku was holding his own against Beerus, Whis was beyond shocked to see that Goku, a mortal, was able to push Beerus to 100%. As Beerus was holding his own against Goku and from there we smiled and said, I wonder, maybe he could be the replacement for Lord Beerus. Let's see what you got Kakarot. With that he saw that the Supreme Kai has now arrived towards the world as he's in stress and said, Is Lord Beerus fighting them? Mm hmm. He wants to see if they're the Super Saiyan God. Oh no, this cannot be good. With that Beerus went and he began to beat the shit out of Goku. Despite the fact that Goku went and he used his Super Saiyan power, Beerus was overpowering him as he continued to attack him non-stop. With that Goku then got up as Vegeta, Bardock, Nappa and Radis along with Broly, he came and he powered up to his Super Saiyan and with that all 5 of them went and they charged right towards Beerus and they began to attack him. Beerus went and he threw them as he was trying to hold his own against all of them but from there Goku went and uppercut Beerus while Broly felt a push and he went and screamed. Broly has now transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan as he went and charged right towards Beerus and he decked him across his face but Beerus did the same and both their power was equally tight as they were going at it. Beerus then saw that with Goku and others of the Saiyans helping, they were overpowering him as he quickly went and he said, alright then, you guys are beyond impressive but now let's see you guys stop me when I use this form, behold. Beerus has now gone and used his Ultra Instinct Power. With that Beerus easily went and he threw all of them towards the ground as none of them stood a chance against him and from there he went and he powered up a blast and said, it is time I punish this planet, I'm gonna make sure I eradicate all of you guys here and now. Weez then saw that this was his opportunity to help them as he said, my lord, there is a way for a Super Saiyan God to appear. Huh? What do you mean Weez? Look here Kakarot, I need you and 5 other pure hearted Saiyans to go and power up their energy towards you. With that it will allow you to tap into a power known as a Super Saiyan God. Wait, what? Are you serious? Okay then, I'm curious to see how powerful you are. How about you go and show me that power then? Uh, okay then. As Goku went and he told Radis, Nappa, Vegeta, Broly and Bardock to power up all their ki and pour it into him. With that they all begun to go and do that and as Beerus witnessed and everyone else, they all saw that the energy went in towards Goku's body which gave him a Zenkai boost but at the same time, Goku began to glow as he went and transformed into a Super Saiyan God.
Goku has now done it as he, with the energy of the other Saiyans, managed to go and transform to a Super Saiyan God 4. Will this power be enough to stop Beerus, or will Beerus easily go and overpower Goku and his Ultra Instinct? All this will be answered in the next episode. To find out what happens, you have to click the bell, my Z fans. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it, and please subscribe to my boy, Vegeta.T23. Help him get up to 10,000 subscribers. Please everyone, subscribe to Goku T23. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you haven't already, please click the bell. That way you will be notified when the next video comes out. Trust me click the bell. It's worth your time. And if you feel like this channel isn't for you in the future, you can always unsubscribe.